I'm putting it inside. Put where does it go? Where does it stop? Watch from style of the lollipop. Today. Hello. It's all right for you. You can fly, why? <laughs> well, you'll just have to think fast, Philip. We've got loads to see. Come on, let's go and get the tram. All aboard. Any more for the town? Oh, hello, sir. Uh, are we too late? No, madam. Plenty of room up and down. Oh, thank you, sir. Come on, Philip. We're going upstairs. All right, why? Great why? It's a funny old bus this, isn't it? Well that's because it's a tram, Philip. It's a tram? Mm. Looks like a bus to me. Well it does look like a bus, except it runs on tracks and it's got overhead cables, just like a train. Oh yeah, I can see. Hey, did you see the strange old-fashioned clothes that the conductor was wearing? Well that's because he's from Beamish. Beamish? Mm. What's that? Sounds like some sort of faraway planet. Beam me up to Beamish. Woo! Don't be silly, Finny. This is Beamish, where we are today. Here, in the north of England. Oh. Mm. You see, Beamish is an open-air museum. And all the people who work here wear old-fashioned clothes. They used to wear 80 years ago when great nannies and great granddads were little. <laughs> well, that's what people wore, and this is what they travelled on. <laughs> Mr. Tram Conductor. A very smooth ride, if I may say so. It's a pleasure, madam. I hope you'll ride with us again sometime. Oh, thank you very much, good sir. I most certainly will. <laughs> He's very polite, isn't he, Philip? Well, come on, then. Don't just stand there. Let's go to the shops. Bye. Bye. Oh, Philip, look at all those things. There's a mangle and a washboard. What are those stools with sticks coming out of the top? They're not Stools, Philip. They're pot sticks to help you do the washing. Oh, I see. Oh, come on, let's go inside and see what else they've got. Ooh. Oh, look at all these interesting things. Oh, they're blancmange moulds. Oh, I like a nice blancmange. Oh, look at those mincers. What do they mince? Well, meat, of course. Nice rosy lampshade. Oh, are those drinking glasses? No, Philip. They're the glasses to go on top of oil lamps. Oh, Ooh, come and look down here. Right behind you. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Oh, yes, please, sir. May I have two dozen pegs for Peggy Patch? Certainly. That's 24 pegs. That'll be six pence. Well, come on, Philip. Pay the gentleman. Uh, uh, only got a shilling. That's quite all right. I'll make your bill and we can get some change for you. And I'll put this and the shilling into the wooden ball and close it together, just like this. And then I'll put it into the box over here and send it to the cash office. Why did they put our money in a wooden ball? Shh, you'll find out, Philip. Now I'm putting the ball into this little box, and I'll pull the rope, and the box goes up there, the ball rolls out, and it's going off to the cash office now, where a lady will open the ball up, take out your shilling, and put the sixpence change, and then they'll send it back. 
Well, I hope she gets the change right. She got a calculator up there. Cal calculator? Calculators haven't been invented yet. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's going to drop down into this net like this. One, two, three. Well, hey. And there it's come back. Here's the ball, here's your change, the sixpence and the bill. Oh, In thank there. you very much, sir. Thank you. That's been a pleasure, madam. Great stuff. Come on, Philip. I'm feeling rather peckish. Up to the grocery shop. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, look at these, why? Jam, jelly, <laughs> custard, sweets, must sweets oh look at those uh cream walnuts lemon sweets ah toffees oh philip don't you think you'd be better off with a nice crisp juicy apple yes why i suppose i would really um ah looks like a nice one <sighs> right better go and pay for it Oh, that's a good advertisement for birdseed. <laughs> oh, and there's another one up there for dog biscuits. Look at that little puppy. He must have been so hungry. He's pulled them all down from off the shelf. <laughs> Hi, wife. Want to buy to me apple? No, thank you, Philip. Hey, Philip, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to make your own poster? Oh, right. Like, um, like wise bird seeds <laughs> <laughs> very funny philip no i was thinking of something more in the lines of um ah wise wonderful warbles mm. wise wonderful warbles mm. what's that warble warble well it's what we birds do when we sing we warble oh what like uh wobble warbles <laughs> Wobble doesn't wobble, wobble, wobble. Uh, could you say that again, why? Wobble doesn't wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Philip. Come on, there's loads to see. There's the farm and the school. We've not got much time. That's a good lad. Come on now. Get up, son. Get up. Oh, hello. What's your name? Bill. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't see you there. I was talking to your pony. <laughs> What's his name? Pip, the pit pony. Pip, the pit. Does he work down a mine? He certainly does. Oh, Philip. Hey, does that mean there's a mine near here? There is. Can we have a look down it, please? You certainly can. Oh, Philip, come on. We can go down the mine. Come on. Don't forget to wear your hat. Philip, it's very low. Mind you don't bang your head. Okay, why? Oh, the people who work down here must have been really small. They used to send children down here. Oh, look, let's go down this way. Deeper and deeper into the mines. Oh, look, it's a man. <laughs> he must be a miner. Does that make me a miner bird? <laughs> Hello, what's your name? My name's Martin. Hello, Martin. I'm the Y-Bird, and this is Philip. Hello, Philip. Hello. What's this handle for? It's a hand drilling machine. The miner drilled holes in the core of his hand drilling machine to put explosives in, to blast the coal out. Hey, is, have you got explosive in there, then? No, this is my water bottle. Up. I'm just oh. having my break, but I'm afraid the mice have eaten all my jam sandwiches. The mice have eaten all your jam sandwiches? Yes, mice. They love jam sandwiches. Do they? Oh, do you know... I'm feeling rather peckish. I could do with a jam sandwich myself. Well, if you go across to the miners' cottages, my wife will make you some jam sandwiches, see? Would she? Oh, how very, very kind. Bye-bye, mm. then. Oh, bye. Come on, Philip. <laughs> oh, here we are, Philip. This looks like it. Give a knock. Oh, hello. You must be Mrs. Martin, the miner's wife. May we come in? Yes, of course you can. Now, don't forget to wipe your feet, Philip. Oh, I say, 
I didn't know we were coming straight into your bedroom. Yes, this is where my husband and myself sleep. Next door's the kitchen, and our children sleep in the attic room upstairs. So where's your sitting room, then? We use the kitchen as a sitting room. We only have three rooms. So, um, do you bake all your own bread in the kitchen? That's right. Would you like to come and have a look? Oh, yes, please. Hmm. I wonder if she makes her own jam as well. Mmm. <laughs> ah. Oh, I love the smell of fresh bread. Oh, and look at that fire. I love a real fire. Yes, we use this fire for everything. It heats the house, it heats the oven for the cooking, and it heats the water for the washing. Well, you'd better not let it go out then. Come on, Philip, give it a poke. Don't worry, Philip. We never let this fire go out. It's heating the water for the washing now. Oh, would you like some help with the washing? Yes, please. It is Monday, wash day. Right. Well, come on, Philip. Thanks a lot, Why? What are you going to be doing? Well, I'm going outside to supervise, actually. Hmm. So I'll use this. That's fine. Come on, Philip, it's out here. Right, splash time! Oh, no, 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 not in there. That's the bathtub. No, not over me. Over there. That's right. That's the washing machine. Well, it is the washing, but where's the machine? You're the machine, Philip. I thought I might be. Come on, let's stop nattering and do some washing. You know it's Monday morning when you hear the teddy beat on the pounding Exhausted. We're not finished yet, Philip. We've got the ironing to do next. Uh, why? Haven't we got to be somewhere else soon? Very soon? Like, uh, now? Oh, I don't think so, Philip, have we? Why? <laughs> Actually, I think we'd better go to school. Mm. Bye, Denise. Thank you very much. Come on, Philip. Yeah, thanks, and uh, good luck with the ironing. Bye. Hurry up, Philip. You're going to be late for school. All oh, right, why, I'm coming. Oh, why, this is great. It's just like my old school. <laughs> you must have gone to school a very long time ago, Philip. Not that long ago, why? Oh, look, here's the classroom. Ooh, let's go in. Oh, I love those old wooden desks. Yeah, look at these tiny blackboards. Right, class. Sit down, please. Yes, miss. Philip, don't slouch in your seat. Sit up properly. Yes, miss. Right. Today, I want you to write me a story about what you did in your holidays. Off you go, Philip. And no talking. Yes, miss. <laughs> Let me see. There, miss. That's 
Not a story, Philip. That's a drawing. Guess what it is, miss? Um, oh. <laughs> well, it's obviously somebody very, very distinguished and terribly good-looking. Hmm. No, it's you, miss. Saved by the bell, I think, Philip. Now, what I suggest you do is go outside and play boolers in the playground. Yes, miss. Hmm. Hang on, why? What's boolers? Well, it's an old-fashioned game, Philip. Should we go and see? Yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Be careful, Philip. You'll do yourself an injury. Right. Keep your stick down. Oh, right, OK. Let's have another go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spooler champion! Well, we can't play around here all day, Philip. Come on, we've got to go to the farm. A farm? Great! Oh, I wonder who this is? Hello, you must be the farmer's wife. That's right, I'm just off to feed the pigs. Would you like to come along? Oh, yes, please. I like pigs. Come along, then. <gasps> This is the Poltigory. The whatigory? The Poltigory. The pigs live downstairs and the chickens live upstairs inside. Well, why is it called a pig diggory, a, a poldoggery or a, a poltigory? Poltigory. It's a mixture of two words in one. Poultry are chickens and it's the piggery where... Oh, where the pigs live. That's right, yes. Oh, I see. So... Poultry and piggery make poultry. That's right. And the pigs keep the foxes away from the chickens. Oh, they're certainly enjoying that food, aren't they? <coughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bark like a dog, then, doesn't it? <laughs> poultry. It's a really funny word, that. Hey, Philip, do you know any other words that could mix together like that? All right, let's have a think. Um, how about cow? and hippopotamus, which make cowpotamus. <laughs> Sounds a bit like cowpatimus to me. <laughs> oh, Philip. Right, it's my turn, my turn. What about, um, ah, chicken and elephant? What does that make? Chickyfant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could think of some words like that to mix together. Mm. Right, that's the pig's fed. I expect you're hungry as well. Would you like to come to the farmhouse for some tea? Oh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> come along then. Bye, pigs. Bye. <coughs> hey, wait for me, you two. <sighs> Just look at that beautiful fire. It's ever so cosy. Yeah, reminds me of my grandma's kitchen after coming in from playing football. Oh, and all this lovely bread and <laughs> jam. Oh, thank you, Mary. Have you enjoyed yourselves today? Yeah, we've had a great time, thanks. Learned ever such a lot. Oh, yes, me too. Oh, good. We'll have to be going soon, Philip. Yeah, time to get the bus back. Tram, Philip, tram. Tram, why? Oi, what's my piece of bread? Sorry, why? Bye-bye. Bye, see you next time. Come on, don't Come get on. too much jam on your beak.